Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Remember the Flowers. Wasn't that an exciting time? We got we got to stab a dragoon and slice off the arm of a rhino with a gun. I don't know what's up with that. We'll see what's up with that, I guess. It feels like an eternity from the brightnesses to die down. Yes, to die down. Even longer before I get the courage to open my eyes. When I do, I feel nothing but relief. Arn is choking up a storm, but he's breathing. <laughs> oh, so when this guy comes back, is he going to have a rad cyborg arm? Oh, that's probably on the table. King is screaming, but I can barely hear him on account of my ringing ears. He's clutching his new stump of an arm. Whatever shot out of that gun blew a hole right through, a, through it. He's not... Oh, excuse me. He's not bleeding, either. I can only assume that the blast was hot enough to cauterize it. I can't help but smile. I did something useful. My smile fades as he turns his attention to me. I see him mouthing something. A look of fear takes over him as he looks back at the entrance of the alley. I'm not sure what to... what it could be. I can't move anyway. I half expect him to try and f finish us off. Instead, he takes both Patsy and Saber over his shoulder. Ugh, no, sp no sprite for that. No CG for that. Just having this one-armed rhino man with the pupper and the dragoon on his back. And he just shuffles away. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> then he sprints away. I let out a shaky exhale before slowly turning my head to see what spooked him so much. Thankfully, I don't have to wait too long as Silver and Rose rush to the scene. Where the fuck were they the whole time? Like, come on. Silver heads over to me immediately, checking my vitals with his paw. He looks absolutely mortified. He calls something out to Karen. My, my hearing is slowly starting to come back. Grab everything you can. We're getting the hell out of here. I'm on it. Don't worry. What about the bikes? Can you ride with Cyrus like that? Of course I can. Don't insult me. Just put them in your lap. Right? <laughs> I smirk, even while uh, knocking on Death's door. It's nice to hear some friendly banter again. Silver doesn't even bother to get me to walk. He gives me a piggyback ride, lit, uh, doing most of the work to get me on his back. It's kind of funny to be carried like this by, by someone shorter than me. It's about all the humor I can find in the situation. As Silver takes me away, I slowly turn my head into the, to see how Aaron's doing. He's doing great. Karen is a little bit slower, but she's still able to carry him with relative ease. I arch my uh, eyebrows in worry. I can't speak, so that's all I can do. Karen sees me and gives me a wink. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Cyrus. He's been through worse. He'll be fine. I promise. She emphasizes that for me. I smile back at her. Has he been through He's been through worse. He's probably, yeah, it's fine. I get it. The last bit of my stamina gives out as I rest my head against Silver's shoulder. I don't think I can sleep in my current condition. I'm scared that I won't wake back up. My last struggle of the day is to make it back home without passing out. Still, I can rest easy. I was able to do something. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, the next day in Resum. In Resum. Are we back with our boy Koopa? Oh, this is our 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 apartment, right? Are we gonna see Benji? That was his name, right? Because we got paid yesterday, I took it upon myself to order some small kitchen appliances for our room. While the cafeteria has good food, I'm getting sick of being recognized because of my stupid collar. Now I can at least enjoy a quiet meal by myself from time to time, or, w or with Benji! That was his name! I did have to install some shelves for extra storage, but it wasn't that difficult. Thankfully, there's just enough counter space for a mini fridge and a microwave. Ever since, ev since everything is fresh and empty, I figure it's time to go grocery shopping. I pull out my Axiom screen while, while walking over to next to text. 
Vivian to see if she wants anything. I'm getting names. We're doing sentences. We're reading. As soon as I open the door, I'm greeted by someone familiar. Oh, Artemis. Lance, I was just about to knock. Great. What do you want? It's my day off. Now, now, don't be testy. Are you free at the moment? I have no idea what voice I did for this man. It's been far, far too long. No, I'm going shopping. The shops will be open well into the evening. There's something I want to see. I want you to see. Artemis chuckles to himself. Trust me, it's a sight you won't want to miss. Right. Can I go now? Artemis stops laughing and gives me a serious look. This is still like my favorite expression. It's just... <laughs> For some reason, this is always my goal in in real life is to is to say something so that people will give me this look. It's funny. <laughs> I've brought them to my level. <laughs> this is an order. Spoil sport. It has to do with a team you'll be working with in the future. Oh, fucking fine. Let's go. I got shit to do. Wonderful. To the underground elevators we go. Fuck me. Artemis takes me down a path at the path of the base I haven't been to before. Anytime I try to ask where we're going, to, he shoots me down, telling me not to ruin the surprise. I swear this has to be the most convoluted way to travel. When we're finally in the elevator, Artemis speaks up. Artemis, sorry, sorry for, you know, gotta, gotta pronounce his name correctly. Should you ever get seriously injured while on the job, rest assured, you'll be taken care of here. This is where we take care of our VIP patients. Though it's been a while since we've had to resort to extensive treatment. Artemis keeps snickering to himself. Whoa. Just before we hi we hit our destination, Artemis takes his axiom screen out, but and and materializes a pair of baskets. Baskets? Like shopping baskets? Like picnic baskets? Like basketball baskets? Like one for each of us. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. Oh, that's also a good face from him. It's pretty good. I kind of like it. Keep me in suspense. Why don't you? How long do I have to uh, have to stay? I honestly can't imagine living a life as dull as yours. I'll let you know when I start caring about what you think. Maybe you'll stop wasting your time. Oh, believe me, watching you is never a waste of time. I let out a subdued growl, but don't have a chance to retaliate more as the bell dings and the door opens. Artemis adjusts his collar before stepping into the hall, motioning for me to follow him. With a grunt, I do as I'm told, again. Unlike Vivian's a section of the underground, this area seems a lot more normal. It reminds me of the hospital floors up above, though notably, noticeably more quality. That's that word. There's... <laughs> that's saying something, considering how rich the upstairs looks. That should... They should be in room F, which is, uh... Right down this hall. Artemis raises his... Artemis raises his axiom up to a sensor in front of the door. After a short beep, the door slides open. I assume we're gonna meet the boys? Who we just saw before? The smell of seared flesh hits my nose rather quickly. An annoyed groan from inside follows soon after. Oh, he does still look pretty good. Oh, that's a good expression. That's pretty good. Hmm. No oh, fuck. What the hell do you want, weasel? Oh, everyone just loves Artemis. Ah. Very good, very good. That's life goals right there. <laughs> oh, come now, don't be like that, king. I come bearing gifts. Unless that includes your res <laughs> resignation letter, I'll pass. I have enough headaches uh, as it is. Sir, please keep the door closed. 
But of course. Come now, Lance. We walk into the rather spacious hospital room. Three of the eight beds are occupied, with four nurses working. Two of them are trying to take care of a giant rhino. They start to apply some kind of liquid to what I assume is all that's left of his arm. He sucks in air through his teeth. Jesus, fuck! Be careful with that shit! My apologies. We're almost done. Artemis inhales deeply and then exhales happily. Oh, glad to see you're recovering well. Artemis, I really don't have the patience to deal with you right now. Ah, so you normally put up with me. I knew we had a good thing going. The rhino tries to sit up, but one nurse keeps him flat in bed. A female hound is taking charge of the rhino's treatment. Is she the head nurse? Please remain still, Artemis. You should know better than to antagonize a fellow leader. <laughs> Sorry. Protocol slipped my mind for a moment. Artemis heads out to the rhino's... The rhino's bed. He takes the basket on his chest. Places the basket on his chest. Adorable. We got you some necessities. Well, uh, for when you're discharged. Along with those awful protein bars you're a fan of. You're... Tr they're tricky to open. Need a hand. I've never seen Artemis fail so hard at holding his laughter in. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's going for. The rhino looks like he's seeing red, uh, clenching his fists hard enough for the veins on his one arm to bulge. <laughs> ah, that is the, that, that's the good smile off, Ar off Artemis. That's the good one. Mr. Artemis. Artemis. Maybe they would they would uh, mispronounce his name as Artemis, you know. The nurse readies a hand and then, to my surprise, smacks the weasel across the face. So this happens often. It sounded pretty hard. And he's still smiling. What a champ. We love to see it. Much to her dismay, all it did was knock his head to the side a little. I can smell a hint of iron in the air. <laughs> Artemis takes a thumb to the corner of his mouth and licks the trickle of blood. He's still smiling. As strong as ever, Serenity. Do accept my most sincere apologies. If you keep on with your nonsense, I'll be forced to write a report. Don't forget, you can be st you can be held accountable, just like the rest of us. Oh, I'm well aware of that, thank you. The nurse turns her attention to me. Maybe it's just because I'm on the edge here, but I'm nearly jumping out of my skin. And you, speak. What business do you have here? I am... Uh, He's with me. I'm here to introduce him to his soon-to-be boss. What? Him? The rhino looks me over. He scoffs and waves me off. I already have my crew. And look what happened there. I was taken by surprise. I can see that's not all that was taken. I can see the nurse's hackles raise as she steps towards the weasel. He raises his hand in defense. Sorry, sorry. Won't happen again. Promise. She shuffles before getting back to work. Ahem. So? Artemis' voice shifts to a more serious tone. Tell me what happened. We found a runaway by sheer dumb luck while roaming the streets. One thing led to another, and this is how things ended up. A king uses his thumb to point behind him towards his team. Despite their battered appearance, they're both sleeping soundly in their beds. Artemis clicks his tongue. I never expected you to lose a fight like that. Does Dario know? Oh, does Dario know? Does he know? Sorry, I need to double check that. Yeah, does Dario know? Does he know? I already ripped m He already ripped me a new one earlier today. That sounds like him. He's always trying to show off his authority. I can't help but roll my eyes. Yeah, well, 
I wasn't un it wasn't unwarranted. Nearly got myself and my crew killed. Probably going to need a prosthetic to replace the lost arm. Speaking of, how in the world did that happen? Artemis walks around to the rhino's left side to get a better look. He picks up a nearby clipboard, skimming through the report. I've never heard of a weapon that could cause damage quite like that. Have you? Beats me. I wasn't paying attention. Before I knew it, there was a blinding blue light. Whatever that blast was, it went through my arm cleanly. And the mechanic I spoke to earlier said he'd probably never seen a cleave a... <clears throat> need to cleave a good chunk of it off. It's all dead at uh, the end now. Hmm, where's your axiom? Dunno. It was a bitch getting back here. I'll tell you that. I can imagine. So, who was this runaway? Huh, you'll get a kick out of this. I'm sure I will. It was Cyrus Cantwell. Cyrus. Oh, do tell. Artemis looks in my direction, gauging my reaction <laughs> with this good smile. I step up to be included in the conversation. I'm curious to know what happened. Apparently, he's been hanging out with the Resistance. We just stumbled upon them while at Golden Requiem. Golden Requiem, huh? That takes me back. We cornered him, but he had some trick up his sleeve. A white tiger with black eyes joined up with them. I thought we could take them. No problem. Then we did. I nearly choked that cat to death. I smirk. Then BAM! King raises a stump. I didn't have time to finish the job, let alone capture Cyrus. I just took my men and ran. That's certainly not your style. Fuck off. I'm kicking myself, just thinking about it. The rhino locks eyes with me, before repositioning himself. What's this about a new team member? As luck would have it, Mr. Cragger here has spent a considerable amount of time with Cyrus Cantwell. Is that right? Indeed. In fact, he was the one who originally found him after he escaped. Unfortunately, we weren't able to complete the transfer. Regardless, Mr. Cragger should have a wealth of, inf of knowledge in regards to Cyrus. I wouldn't say that. We weren't together very long. Longer than most people in this day and age, I'm sure you'll be very useful in an attempt to recapturing him. I gulp. Alright then. Let's hear it. What have you got for us? Lance. My name is Lance. That's a sharp name. I like it. So, Lance, the floor is yours. What the fuck am I even doing? When I first met him, he had real bad amnesia. I took advantage of it so I could pass him off without, a, without much incident. Which I kind of regret now. He was feeble, annoying. But he had a lot of knowledge about the world before the fall. Feeble, huh? Why don't you take a look at my men behind me? That was him doing what you call... <clears throat> and you call this feeble. Get good. <laughs> what else can we say? Just get good, sir. Really? He must be training. I wager he's joining, going to join the Resistance if he hasn't already. I would pose... It would pose a very real threat if he were to ever regain his memories. That is why I suggest you work with King. You were around Cyrus long enough to memorize his scent, right? I guess. It's been a, while, a little while, though. I would my Axiom screen to take out his old bandages. These bandages are... You still have those? Uh, these old bandages still have his blood on them. Shouldn't be too difficult. <clears throat> difficult. Wait, what am I doing? Am I really agreeing to capture Cyrus? Yeah, you want to see him. You know, you slept with him in a train cart. That, that means your bodies. That would be damn useful. We can put that nose of yours to work. We just have to get enough, get close enough for it to matter. Which is why, for the time being, I'm going to have Lance do reconnaissance without the rash, throughout the nation. Who knows, maybe he'll find something. Meaning? 
Your current jo job duties are to travel and try to pick up his scent. Don't worry about any admin work. We'll be fine on that front. As a former member of the Resistance, you could pick up on your old teammate's scents, too. Another runaway. Glad to hear it, then. Once I get my arm situated, we can go bust some heads together. Not until you finish your therapy, sir. What's in it for me? A paycheck? Not getting your head blown off? Work? A place to stay? Like, any number of things, Lance. Any number of things! Pardon? I didn't agree to this. Or anything you ever said. Why should I do this? Ah, uh, you want to know what you'll be paid with? <laughs> Our Artemis holds his chin with a paw as he thinks. His serious look fades behind, back into a smile. Unfortunately, that isn't up to me. But I'm sure you'll be rewarded handsomely for capturing our number one target. I bite my lip. I'll think about it. The weasel chuckles. As if you have a choice. Do get along with your new team, Mr. Cragger. I know you don't have the best track record on that front. Artemis takes that as his cue to leave. I curse internally to myself, scowling. King catches my attention. So, you got anything good in that basket, too? I actually do want some snacks, but you know. The rhino uh, raises his stump. I completely forgot I was holding onto this thing. The handle is a bit crushed now, and guess I was gripping it too hard earlier. The name is King, by the way. Kingstone. Unlike that piece of shit weasel, I try to at least <clears throat> be somewhat agreeable with the people I work with. That's already a huge improvement. The name is Lance. Lance Cragger. Nice to meet you, Lance. So, how about it? Think you'll want to work with us? To capture Cyrus. I tug on my Arc Arcadia collar. I'm considering it. Data boy. So, you're telling me Cyrus did this to you? Really? Sure did. Why? I just don't think he had it in him. He was a wimp the last time I saw him. Ha, huh, well, it's true that he got a leg up on me. He then points to his, his new stump. And then some. I'll give him this. When push come to shove, he went for the kill. Yeah, he could have aimed for the head. He should have aimed for the head. You know. King points to the small dent on his neck, uh, just above his Arcadia collar. If it were anyone else, he'd have gone straight through with his knife. Wow. I didn't really know what to think about that. I'm glad he grew a backbone, but that's mo that, that'd make it harder for me to capture him. He only got me like, it, like he did because I was distracted. You should see the shape the other guy was in. Oh, I'd love that. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> that's fine. Oh, I'd love that. There is a knock at the door. You're kidding me. How many visitors were you expecting today? Get off my back. I'm a busy guy. It's probably the mechanic I called. Honestly. Serenity goes to the door. As soon as she does, she straightens up and salutes. G g good afternoon, sir. Uh, to what pleasure do I owe this afternoon? I hear the voice of someone I'd never heard before. At ease, the soldier. Relax, it's nothing special. Oh, okay. A human walks in. His attire reminds me of Artemis's. Does he really need to uh, wear a coat like that all the way down here? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna end the part here, everyone. So, I'll see you guys around.